What's going on filmmakers? I'm Alexandra Don and today we're going to talk about the new Nanolite Forza 60C, a triumph in the evolution of Forza series. Equipped with an RGB LAC 6 color system, Forza 60C adds lime, amber and cyan color on the basics of RGB. Compared with the RGB and even the more advanced RGBW and RGBWW lighting source technology, the RGB LAC color mixing system provides a more subtle and accurate color, a wider color gamut and a more complete lighting spectrum. In addition, Forza 60C supports DMX and RDM control, so it's also suitable for medium and large scale films and television productions. In this video, we will focus on introducing the new function modes and operations of the Forza 60C. Forza 60C comes with multiple control methods. First, we're going to look at the onboard controls that mainly rely on two adjustment knobs and a mode button. This simplistic design allows user to make settings super fast. After turning on the Forza 60C, the menu, CCT, hue and effects modes can be switched by short pressing the mode button. The right knob is to switch menu and the modes inside. Left knob is to adjust parameters and options. When adjusting the settings within modes, the current settings can be confirmed by short pressing the right knob. Long press the right knob can lock the operation interface to avoid miss operations. Long press the right knob again so it unlocks. Now we're going to dive a little bit deeper inside the menu. First, enter the menu and rotate the right knob and we can check and set the address code, language, fan, Bluetooth, DMX mode, DMX reducer channel, wireless protocol and firmware version. Next, short press the mode button to enter the CCT. In this mode, we can set the output temperature from 1800 Kelvin to 20,000 Kelvin and we also have a green and magenta adjustment. Short press the mode button again and we will access the hue mode where we can adjust the hue from 0 to 360, saturation from 0 to 100 and thanks to the RGB LAC color mixing system the saturation has been enhanced. Short press again to enter effect modes. Forza 60C has 15 built-in effects like Hue Loop, Hue Flash, Hue Pulse and many other effects which can be highly customizable. Compared to the Forza 60B, Forza 60C comes with more effects options. To control the Forza 60C we can also use the Nanlink app, which we can connect with the built-in Bluetooth module or via Nanlink's box. To connect the Forza 60C you need to open the app, create a new scene and connect the fixture. The app unlocks multiple functions of the light and adds a few more adjustments than the fixture itself has on board. CCT mode adds more control to temperature, green and magenta and brightness. In HSI mode there are adjustments for dim, hue and saturation. It also provides a scroll bar and a color wheel for your adjustments as well as a camera color pickup function. Beside HSI mode, we also have RGBW mode and XY coordinates. In the RGBW mode, we can adjust red, green, blue and white values separately, both of which range from 0 to 255. There are two adjustment interfaces, horizontal scroll bar adjustment and color selection disk adjustments. In the XY coordinates mode, the adjustments in color gamut diagram is in the same interface with the adjustments of DIM and X axis and Y axis. We can select any point in the CIA 1931 color space to choose color. The color temperature curve in the color gamut diagram can be displayed or hidden. There will be a gel mode available soon so stay tuned for that. The effects modes unlocks a ton of new features. The pulse, flash, TV, candle, fire, welding and bad bulb effect include color adjustment functions and we can adjust the hue and saturation as well. Other basic adjustment options remain unchanged according to the corresponding effects. 
You can also make your own presets. In any mode, click the preset button in the upper right corner, type a customized name and save the preset. Click the drop down menu above, click preset and enter the preset interface to check if the preset got saved. There is also a group mode that allows you to create simultaneous effect between multiple Forza 60C. Forza 60C has also DMX operation as well. And besides having RGB LAC color mixing technology, HSI, RGBW and other modes, it also has 8-bit and 60-bit channel through DMX. Forza 60C has also the ability to be powered by a battery grip, one that uses NPF batteries or one that uses V-mount batteries. The battery grip is super useful whenever you are on a remote location and you need light. Forza 60C also comes with an included reflector of 45 degrees. And based on the traditional reflectors that Nanolite had, this one is optimized and has different characteristics in order to have a better light distribution. You can also integrate this light into the bounce mount ecosystems with the included bounce mounts adapter, unlocking a ton of accessories for Forza 60C. To update the firmware of the Forza 60C, you have to insert the USB drive which includes the firmware into the USB port underneath the Forza 60C. Turn on the Forza 60C, press the mode button to switch on the menu, rotate right knob to the firmware update and press update the firmware. All right guys, I really hope you liked this short explanation about the Forza 60C and hopefully now you know how powerful and potent this light is. I'm Alexander Don and thanks a lot for watching. Cheers.